not my house for this video. Um, I'm staying at my parents this week, so I didn't bring my little light up lighting setup with me because I just didn't feel like it. So I'm filming with the sun, so if you ever notice a weird like light change while I'm filming, that is why. Um, because we have to do the sun in nature. So yeah. I wanted to film this look for St. Patrick's Day because I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day and I'm obviously going to be so bougie and do green eye makeup and so I thought it would just be really fun to film a video with it and also I kind of needed a practice run. Um, I love the way it turned out. Oh my gosh, my favorite things that I used was this um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green and this Kat Von D eyeshadow in Iggy. I've never used her eyeshadows before and holy moly, that was the best thing I've ever used. So. Yeah, I had really uh, a lot of fun with this. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, okay, thanks. Here you go. Okay, as always, we're gonna start with priming our eyes with my MAC and W20 concealer and my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna set that with some face powder just to make sure that it's all good. Then we're gonna go in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette in Sherbert. We're just gonna use this on a big fluffy brush. Then we're gonna go in with this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Fuji and a Sigma E25, and then we're just gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Dragonfly. Really, Fuji was just kind of another blending color, and then Dragonfly is what is gonna kind of give us this depth here. Um, it takes a lot of blending because these are all, um, or these are both matte shadows, so just be patient with yourself. It's gonna be worth it in the end if you just really work to blend all the way through. So just use that Sigma E25 and just take it all the way through the crease until you're happy with the smoothness. Next up, we're gonna take Enchanted Forest, also by Makeup Geek, and use this to um, kind of define our outer corner slash crease. So I'm gonna start it in the outer corner there and just like blend up through the edges. It's kind of like a small pointed blending brush from Bedellium Tools. Um, I'm gonna keep blending, like I said, and then go in again with the Sigma E25 and go over all the edges. What I like about that Fuji color is it's kind of like a yellowish green, so it really helps create a nice gradient. And then just go over all of the edges. Next up, we're gonna go in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green as our base for our green color. It is so pretty, I love it so much. So pigmented, I mean, it's such a good green. I'm obsessed with it. Um, after you place it, I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit with a concealer brush just to make sure the product is really on there. Then I'm gonna go in with this color Iggy by Kat Von D. Also, so beautiful, I am obsessed with it. Like, look at my face, <laughs> the pigment is just incredible. I did not know it was gonna be this good. I had never used her eyeshadows before and I wanna cry, I wanna buy all of them. This is so, so, so beautiful. So metallic, so sparkly. I'm gonna use glitter, but you honestly don't even have to. This is so good. Um, so yeah, just blend that out a little bit. Next up, we're gonna go in with this NYX um, glitter in Crystal Jade, or it's actually liquid crystal liner, but I'm using it just straight on as glitter. I leave the frame for a second, please forgive me. I'm back, okay. Um, I just wanna put this all over the lid. This is gonna be a base for an actual um, like loose glitter I'm gonna use next, but I just kind of wanted to see how this would look, so I placed it all over. I really like it, it's nice and sparkly. You could do just that if you wanted. If you wanna be extra bougie like me, you can go in with this loose glitter blind NYX. It's called GLI-03. I'm sure it has a color, but it's just their teal one. Um, I just put it on with my finger because I was being lazy and the like liquid liner glitter kind of helped it stick. Then I'm just gonna blend out my edges. I'm gonna keep blending forever because that's just who I am. <laughs> I took a little bit more of that Fuji and put it on there. So if you look at Fuji in the pan, it seriously looks neon green, but it really, you can see it comes off kind of yellow, which is good for this tutorial. You want it to be a gradient. Um, so I really liked it. Just keep blending. And once that's all done, we're gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm using um, Schwing by The Balm. It goes on a little chunky today because there is glitter on my lid. Um, I probably should have gone in with maybe a gel, but I am a creature of habit. I put on Ardell um, lashes in 105, and that is what I used. So I'm just going over the band. Then I put on some Lash Accelerator Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I use it every day. I'm ride or die for this. Right. And next up we're going to do our face and look, there's me. I don't know why I did that, that was dumb. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with Enchanted Forest on a pointed brush by Makeup Forever. And then I'm going to blend it out with uh, first Dragonfly, um, which I liked, but I kind of wanted a little bit more. So I went in with Iggy again and blended it out even more underneath. Uh, so 
idea. I just really wanted that to be kind of glittery under there too, because why not, you know? St. Patrick's Day. Then I'm gonna go into the self-made palette again and get self-made um, because gold and green are what St. Patrick's Day is all about. And put that on the inner corner, then take a little bit of treasure and just go over it because it was a little too dark green for me, or too dark gold. Then take buttery and highlight our brow bone. And then just a little bit more mascara and you are all done, girl. All right, so that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. It was really fun to kind of get to go out of my comfort zone a little bit and use some crazy colors. Um, yeah, it's really not as hard as it looks. Um, just like I said, just look, lots of blending and just be patient with yourself. Um, if you, you got this, I believe in you. Um, yeah. Again, um, all the music in this video, or if there's only one song like there was last time, um, will be from my friend Callie. Please check out her YouTube channel and donate to her Kickstarter. Um, and please like and subscribe this video if you liked it and you want some more. If you have any questions, any suggestions, just let me know, leave them in the comments or message me or whatever. So, all right, thanks for watching so much, guys. I so appreciate anybody that takes time to watch what I create. Have a good day, bye.